You know, the, you talked about some giants in ministry, yeah. like Dr. Kumui of the Deeper Christian Life yeah. Ministry. He remains very childish in the way he approaches God and everything. And also, very simple. Yes, and also Pastor Adiboye. Adiboye of the Redeemed Christian Church of yeah. God. There's also Dr. Billy Graham. Yeah. And, and I remember reading up, I, I, maybe it was a video, I read something up about him, where he said he had a meeting with some of his leaders in the initial stages of his ministry. And he said to, and they all agreed that there are certain things that can destroy a ministry, money and all those things. And they now worked at a strategy about how to avoid fall into the, yeah, to fall into the trap of the enemy through those things. You've heard about some so-called men of God who have fallen. Like, what, why do you think they lost it? it? It still remains the same factor. It's one of the things that God has taught me since I got born again. God asked me to remain very natural, very transparent, and very sincere. And it takes a child to be like that. Like I have little kids now, and sometimes I just ask them, okay, answer. I have answer, and I've been answer. answer, I want you to tell me because we're going to be going to play football. Who did this? Who did I say, Daddy, I'm the one who did it. <laughs> so that's one of the things that, you know, if people inculcate it into their lives, they won't have any problem. And that is being sincere. For instance, it's very easy not to fall. Wow. You can make it so hard for yourself to fall. Wow. Because the Bible says, confess your fault one to another. For instance, I discover that I used to pray before I can no longer pray. What stops me? Okay, I'll give you an example. I remember I moved to London many years ago. And I was about 30 years old that time. As at that time, I've never heard about masturbation in my life. I've never had any. Somebody has come to me before telling me they're having problems with masturbation, but I didn't know the meaning. I've never experienced it. I've never known it. I don't even know what they call masturbation. Then a friend who is an evangelist called me and said, yo, you're in London now. You, know, you don't have your wife. You don't have uh, your family over there. You know what they call masturbation. You can start doing it. I, I rebuked the person. I said, get away from me. What sort of nonsense is that? You can't be saying that to me. But a few days later, I started masturbating. Wow. But do you know what delivered me? I just took the... Whatever was happening to me, I took it to the pulpit to go and tell the people, guys, this is what I'm going through right now. From the moment I started this thing, I thought that it's one of the things that people whose wives are not around used to cuss on themselves. I discovered I'm falling downhill. Can you pray for me? That's the sincerity of a child. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm discussing this on the pulpit, and this is one of the reasons why a lot of young people are attracted to our ministries. I don't hide things from them. Because what you hide from them is what they secretly do to harm themselves. Wow. <laughs> My, you know, I, I'm just enjoying you. You were talking about transparency and everything. Even in ministry, for instance, your ministry, you gave an example now of you standing there before the whole church, telling them what you're going through and you need their prayers. Yeah. 